finally doing it, finally here. Legit video, Art Snacks unboxing, here we go. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Holy crap, I'm doing a legitimate video. I have not done a video like this on my channel in a very, very long time. In fact, I specifically looked up the last time I even did an unboxing video like this and it was in October, which is crazy. So finally doing it. Finally here, legit video. If you are unfamiliar with what Arts Next is, it is basically a monthly subscription for 25 bucks a month, I believe. Uh, you get a sweet little box in the mail full of mystery art supplies. I really enjoy it. I think it's a really great way to kind of just get introduced to some new stuff. And who doesn't like getting art supplies in the mail, right? So yeah, I have been saving this. This is the March box. I know it's late in March, but you know, better late than never, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I have not opened it. I do not know what's inside. I've been trying really hard not to look at any of the Arts Next social media stuff, which is very difficult. But it is my understanding that March was like their anniversary month or like their Arts Next birthday month. So I have been told from some art homies here and there that this is a very epic box. I really tried hard to not open it so that I can open it on camera with you guys. So as you might have seen in uh, any of my older unboxing videos, I'm gonna open this up. We'll see what's inside of this month's box. And then I'm I'm gonna play around with the art supplies a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna be in a sketchbook or in my art journal, but let's just kind of open it up and see what's inside. Okay. Ooh. So here's a look at the inside of the box. So we have our little menu that we always have. Looks like there's some other sort of card or sticker thing. We've got the snack. I'm already seeing some paint some paper and then the rolled up tissue paper bundle it usually has pens or paint brushes in it of some sort. So for right now I'm gonna put the menu to the side because I don't want to uh, spoil anything. Fun little card included here, Art Snack Shop, more birthday treats. In addition to the Art Snacks magnet, enjoy $4 off your next purchase in the Art Snack Shop using the coupon code BIRTHDAY4. That's freaking awesome. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that birthday code out loud, but I just did, whatever. I definitely shop in the Art Snacks shop. It's really great. Um, they'll have like a la carte art supplies. So if you do get something in a box that you really, really love, like I've done it with some of the Copic markers in the past, some of the crink markers that I've gotten that I really like, where they would be maybe even more expensive to buy elsewhere because maybe you have to buy them in a pack or something like that. You can buy them individually on the Art Snacks shop. So I will totally use this coupon, although it expires March 31st, so I better buy stuff today. Next up, we've got some hot press paper. Ooh, and it looks like it's from Legion. Legion We Are Paper, smooth and silky. I like these little guys. I think they're really fun. At first, when I was getting these little paper pads in the Art Snacks box, I kind of didn't know what to do with them, but now I've been using them as like paint swatch paper. So if I get any new paints, or if I want to test paint color combos, I use these little guys, and then I save the cards, and then I put them in my sketchbook. Next, we have a magnet this month. Usually, it's a little Art Snacks sticker. This month they went fancy with it and now it is a little magnet, so that's cool. I'll definitely stick that somewhere. We have our snack, Warhead's Black Cherry Extreme Sour Hard Candy. I actually really don't like Warheads, but maybe I'll try it later. Just for nostalgia. Also loose inside of the box is two tubes of paint. It looks like it's Artist Watercolor Paint. So it's the M. Graham & Co. Artist Watercolor in two different colors. Looks like I have a white. So a titanium white opaque watercolor paint. And then the other one is a Terra Rosa color, which is awesome. I would totally use both of these. I really enjoy tube watercolor paint. Um, you know, but oftentimes it's pretty expensive and it's not really something that I use all the time. But certainly if I have a color that I really like, I like incorporating it in to my work, whether it's mixed media or my illustration stuff. So this is awesome. I will totally use both of these. Last in the box is the tissue paper bundle of stuff. Because it is their birthday month, it looks like they put it in some really cute sort of starry tissue paper, which is really fun. I actually really like that Art Snacks tries to theme the tissue paper to whatever the month is, whether it's surrounding a holiday or an event or something like that. It's all in the details. So it looks like there was two items in the tissue paper bundle. The first is a Triograph 
pencil. It's a 2B pencil, uh, but it's got a really interesting sort of triangular shape, which is really cool. So I know that's gonna feel good drawing with it. Pretty cool. I'll have to read a little bit more about this, but otherwise it just looks like a really big, chunky, triangular 2B graphite pencil. The other item in the bundle is a protege 526 angle brush in a size three. I do like angle brushes. This looks great and I always like getting brushes in the art snacks boxes. That's kind of actually one of my favorite things. So I will definitely try this out as well. Great for detailing work. I um, really like these for filling out any kind of contour drawings that I might have done as well. So that's what was in the box. Let me check out the menu really quick. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so the M. Graham & Co. watercolor paints, yeah, those are freaking pricey. They're $13.30 each. That's literally the cost of the box, like, right there, just in those two, so that's really awesome. So overall, March was a pretty awesome box. I'm pretty excited with what we got. This time around, I think I'm gonna play around in my art journal. So why don't we move over to my desk and play around with some of the supplies. So to kick things off, I wanted to do some quick little swatches on the watercolor paper that came in the box. So here I am sort of prepping my palette up a bit. Using the paintbrush that came in the box, um, doing some quick little swatches. This is that terracotta color, or terra rosa rather. Um, which was nice and opaque and pigmented and obviously I did a swatch of the white paint as well But you can't really see it obviously white on white so you can see I kind of blended the two together Here I am sort of just getting a feel of that pencil as well um, I'm working in my moleskin art journal for this and this is sort of an art journal that I've just kind of thrown a lot of random stuff in uh, So this was an in-progress spread here and you can see I dove right in using that Terra Rosa paint because I knew I wanted to sort of layer the two because the ultimate test for me was to see really how opaque the white paint was, which you'll see in a moment. I wasn't going to do any actual drawing on this particular spread, I just was kind of messing around. Um, but the pencil felt great to work with, nice to hold. Sometimes it's fun just to have those really nice chunky pencils in your pencil bag. So here I am with that white watercolor paint, and it's the titanium white, I believe. Um, it is super, super pigmented. Awesome, awesome to play with, um, both in a watered down sort of format, or here almost kind of straight on. There's just a little bit of water mixed in here, um, and I'm using just a small detail brush of my own to kind of create some watercolor illustrations. I loved the look of this and in fact just got really obsessed. Um, you can kind of tell I really couldn't stop. Um, returning back to the paintbrush that came in the box, which is that nice sort of angular tip, um, wanted to add some extra details in again with the white paint. This was a great brush, liked using it and it's definitely going to be part of my brush arsenal. Here I am just sort of adding in a little bit more ephemera here just to kind of nudge it a little bit more to completion. And then I liked the look of the kind of straight on white watercolor so much that I decided to come back in with that Terra Rosa really almost as is out of the tube, um, which can be really fun because it has almost a sticky sort of consistency to it when it's not watered down um, and just kind of came in and carved out my illustration a little bit with paint. Um, and then I just sort of finish this off with a little bit of yellow, continuing a pattern here. Um, and there you have it. does it for this Arts Next unboxing video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more art and good times. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!